And a hold up for families who are homeless in Modesto. Why a church's plans to build tiny homes for some of them is suddenly on pause. Thanks for joining us for the CBS 13 News at 10. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Hunter Sowards. A lot to get to tonight. We start with the major pushback on a plan to house the homeless. CBS 13's Madison Keeby's on this, getting answers from all sides tonight, covering the Central Valley. Madison. Tony, it's quiet in this field on church property. I'm surrounded on all sides by neighborhoods and homes. And the neighbors in those homes tell me this is exactly how they want their haven to stay. How can a field of grass be the reason for so much neighborly concern? We've been bombarded, caught off guard, no notice at all. It's going to be chaos, and we won't feel safe at all. Many neighbors near the Modesto Church of the Brethren were strongly against their offer to the city to build tiny homes for homeless families on their property that right now is this empty field. We're hoping it to be a, a family uh, village, we'd called it Peace Village, uh, a family village that would, would be run by uh, an organization that has a long, excellent track, track history of being running organization well. Derek Castle is an activist who helped the church create its proposal. He says misinformation spread faster than the church's plan, which was to build temporary housing for homeless families. I took that to neighbors. It would be families who need housing until they can get more permanent housing. Does that change your mind about this plan? No, it don't change my mind about the plan because I think they should put it somewhere else. The Woodland West Community Neighborhood Group took their worries to city council too. Secrecy has created a lot of mistrust, confusion, and rumors. It has divided some of the neighbors. And now, the church's response to the pushback. We've asked the city to put our offer on to hold for the moment uh, while we have a chance to uh, talk to the neighbors, explain to them what we'd been planning to do. How do you feel now knowing that this proposal has been suspended? Well, I'm not happy that it's suspended. I want it squashed altogether. From here, there's going to be more meetings as soon as tomorrow. Neighbors say where they're actually going to get to have those conversations with some of the church leaders about exactly what could go here, what they want to see go here. Although everyone that I talked to today is against anything that has to do with homeless housing within their block and their neighborhood.